in this room is worth something. Everyone in this room has something going for them. Everyone in this room deserves to be loved. But the first person who has to love you is you. Now, I'm gonna be honest, not too long ago, I used to have a self-esteem problem. I would look in the mirror and just pick through all my flaws, and I think a lot of people do that. They look in the mirror and think, my life would be so much better if I were thinner, or curvier, or didn't have such a big nose, whatever. But I'm here to tell you, that's not the case. You are perfect. The mirror lies because it doesn't show you what's on the inside, and that's what counts. The mirror shows you your outward appearances, but it doesn't show you what's really important, like your kind heart, or that you're really funny, or anything that actually matters. As Jean Prosk said, love yourself. It's important to stay positive because beauty comes from the inside out. I think you just have to let your pros outweigh your cons and forget all the things you don't like about yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, you'll never truly be happy. And if you don't love yourself, how can you expect to love life? How can you appreciate the beauty of life if you don't appreciate the beauty in yourself? So instead of saying, I'm fat, I'm ugly, I'm a loser, say to yourself, I'm smart, I'm kind, I deserve to be loved. Because you do. Everyone is worth something. My pastor once shared with me this story. If I were to take a $100 bill out of my pocket and offer it to you guys, I guarantee you every single one of you would take it because of its value. If I were to take the same $100 bill, crumple it up, throw it on the ground, and offer it to you guys again, you guys would still take it. And why? Because it still has value. Just like that $100 bill, you all have value, no matter how unattractive you think you are. And the key word here is think, because I can say without a doubt that you are all beautiful. Now, Mr. Gibbons showed us this stuff commercial. And in the commercial, some girls were asked to describe themselves to an artist who had to draw them based upon only their descriptions. Then, those girls were asked to socialize with some strangers for a few minutes, and the strangers described the girls to the artist who drew them again. You would be amazed at how different the two drawings were. The ones described by the girls themselves were unattractive and really depressing looking, but the ones described by the strangers were beautiful, and that really put into perspective for me how negatively we see ourselves. We think of ourselves as this unattractive creature, but really, we're not. According to a study from SIRC, eight out of 10 women are unhappy with their reflection in the mirror. Eight out of 10 women. 80% of the female population is unhappy with their reflection. Oh, and that is insane. You are perfect, and God made you perfect with your own traits and things that make you, you, and you should be proud of that. The key here is acceptance. When you accept yourself, you can love yourself. And the person who deserves your love most 